The one thing babies are practicing over and over again, and doing more than ever before, is swiping and tapping touch screens. <gasps> What's that? 75% of toddlers use smartphones and tablets daily. Yes, yeah, 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 that's right. This generation of babies is unique because they have access to so much technology. Touchscreen tablets and smartphones are just so easy for babies to use now. Some early research suggests touchscreens may be impacting negatively on children's sleep and attention. But are there any upsides to technology? Cognitive psychologist Dr Tim Smith is investigating this burning question. We know very little because the devices entered into the uh, home environment so recently. We're all figuring out how we use them and the children are really attracted to them. So the science is actually really quite far behind, but we're trying to address that as, as much as we can, looking specifically in the first few years of life. We've invited six toddlers into the baby lab. Three of them are tablet users, and three of them aren't. Papa. We've come up with a series of tests designed to uncover any differences in the way these babies are developing. So what are we testing today, Tim? So we're specifically interested in a two dimensions of development uh, and the ones we're going to look at are fine motor control which is fine movement of fingers and hands like picking objects up and the gross motor which is whole body movements so crawling standing walking hopping on one leg to see whether these are associated with the the use of the touch screen that maybe people think is kind of locked into a small screen you're not moving much and so we're going to do a series of standardized assessments where we get the children to do some tasks and we can see how far they are on these kind of development of these dimensions the concern is that young children sat down using technology won't be as good at coordinating their bodies, what we call gross motor skills. With our hands up on the sky, we squat. So first, we're going to test if they can accurately walk along a straight line. First to go are the non-tech users. Are you ready? Yes. Good you go. girl. Show us how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. That's it. Oh, yeah. Well done. Nice. Nice. Easy. There we go. Yeah. All of them stick to the line easily. But what about the tech users, who it's been suggested may not be as good at this? Good girl. That's it. Yeah. Very good job. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Oh, well done. Stamp that line. <laughs> yes, <sir. Ow. laughs> oh, well done. At the end of the first test, there's some reassuring news for the tech users. The variation you have from one kid to another is similar across the two groups, and it's not that the high tech users are much further back in their development than the low tech users are. But how will the tech users compare with the non tech users? when it comes to coordinating small movements with their hands, called fine motor skills. Should we do some drawing? First, the toddlers need to copy a straight line. Now, I'm going to show you first. We go Watch this way. Huh? Can you do one like this? Very good stroke. We go this way. Can you do one like that? As a group, the non-tech babies meet the expectations for their age. Can you try to do it? How oh, are They're starting to get the hang of it, but their hand control needs to improve before they can draw a straight line. Next, we test the tech users. Well done! Look at that! So, interestingly, she is a tech user. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's any correlation? Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to uh, uh, extrapolate. She's really good at this. Wow, that's 
On the whole, the tech users managed to copy the lines more accurately. There you go. There you go. Nice. Straight down. Our final test will assess how well the toddlers build a tower using wooden blocks, a task that requires even more precision. You have blocks here. Oh dear. Put one like this. Good. Well done. Oh, let's try again. I think you got four there. Can you try another one? The non-tech users build towers with an average of five blocks. So it's really mm. knowing what he's doing with them. Mm -hmm. How high will the tech users go? One more. Well done. It's a tower. very high tower. You did well it. Well done. You well done, Lino. <laughs> Josie built seven blocks. Five. Oh, he's adding. Or six. Oh, we get it. Blake manages six. Okay. She's really controlled. She's really controlled. That's six. 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 Oh. Seven. Whoa. All, all is precarious now. Eight. Eight. Oh, God, last one. Nine. Oh, my God. Oh. And Madison reaches nine. In terms of that kind of finger dexterity mm. that we've been looking at, she's really got it. <laughs> Can we put some more blocks on top of it? The block test suggests the tech users have advanced fine motor skills for their age. Eight. Although this is a small sample size, it backs up Tim's previous research. Well done. You did. That tapping and swiping a touch screen encourages precision and dexterity.